Hey guys, Sarah Oates here with Divi Space, and today we're going to be looking at the brand new version of Divi Switch. Divi Switch is a plugin that allows you to enhance your Divi website so that you can achieve so much more than you can just out of the box with Divi. And ordinarily, you would have needed a bunch of CSS or JavaScript to achieve any of these things, but now all you need to be able to do is turn a switch on or off, and your website's going to be amazing. So let's go take a look at Divi Switch. All right, after you've installed Divi Switch, you're gonna to come to the Divi menu item and you're gonna see a brand new section called Divi Switch. Once you put your API key in, you're gonna have all these new settings to play with. So under heading, we're gonna be able to do a whole lot of changes. Ordinarily out of the box, your heading is gonna look like this. You're gonna have your main logo, this is all going to be left aligned. You can't click on this as a button. And of course, this is just going to open up in the new tab. And as you scroll up, same logo, just a little bit smaller. But now if we turn on all of these settings here, so we're just going to turn all of these on and then we're going to upload a brand new logo so that as it scrolls up, it's going to show something else. Now we're going to click save and come through to our new page and it's going to look like this. So now we have it going full width because we'd said we wanted it to be a, a mobile app style. <laughs> Sorry about that, forgot, forgot my words. Now it's center aligned, you can click on this, it's gonna make a phone call. This is gonna open up in a new tab and as we scroll up, this now changes this icon. Super easy, just like that, you're gonna be able to switch things on and off. And of course, all of those are their own separate settings that you can make changes to as you want to. Coming through to the footer, you can now replace the whole footer with a layout of your choice. So we might replace it with that one. We can stop it from floating. So as you can see here on this page, we don't have enough content and this menu is sitting really high. It's also just the standard Divi menu. So what we're gonna do is stop that from floating. We're gonna hide the bottom bar. So that bar that we just saw, we're gonna replace it with our own one. And then if you were using the main um, widget style one, then you could remove those bullet points. If we click save now and come through to our new page, we're gonna see that we've lost the normal Divi one. We've replaced it with our own layout. And of course it's not now, it's giving it a whole lot more space in between, which is great. All right, coming through to the main content. Now you can remove that dividing sidebar line. So if we come through to a normal blog post, we can see here we've got that normal line there on the sidebar. We can get rid of that if we want to. Um, there's a whole bunch of other settings to do with the gallery. You can remove project post type. If you don't wanna have it here on the left-hand side, you don't need to anymore. So if we click save all of a sudden projects, that's gonna disappear once we reload this page. <laughs> that would be useful, wouldn't it? All right, so now you can see projects has completely disappeared. We'll come back into our settings here. Um, so now let's reload this page and we'll see that our line has now disappeared. Now you notice here that this is looking really messy with these comments. Wouldn't it be nice to just be able to tidy those up a little bit? So if you come here through to posts, we can now add comments into a toggle. Save that one, come back here, reload. And all of a sudden it's looking so much neater. Okay, coming through to archives. Now you've got a whole bunch of options with your archives. So ordinarily the archives page is gonna look a little bit like this one here. So you can't even tell that we're on the travel archive page. You can see up here that we are, but otherwise you don't know that you're on that. And so if you don't wanna to have to go through a bunch of PHP to be able to change that out, you've now got some settings that can control that. So if we come through here, we can say add category title to the top of the page, remove the sidebar if you'd like to, add some read more links and add separators between the items. Now, if we click save and then come back to that page reload, we're gonna see now we've lost that sidebar. It's now got this nice heading. I'm gonna show you where some of the settings are for this as well in just a second. It's now added a line in between them and we've got read more um, showing up for all of those. And all of a sudden, that's gonna be so much more functional for the people who are using your website. Integration, this is where you can add in some more layouts. So you can add layouts before the main content, after the main content and before post content. This is gonna be super useful. And then of course, this one, just have it turned on like straight away, enable SVG uploads. SVGs are scalable vector graphics. These are really useful for when you are going to be um, having a logo, for example, it's gonna make it crisper, 
really recommend using it, but at the moment you can't upload them to the media library. This will allow you to be able to do that. And then import export. If you're using this plugin on a bunch of websites, you may want to just export some of the settings so you don't have to keep on making them up. Mind you, what it's taken us like a couple minutes to be able to turn those things on and off. So whether or not you can use that, that's up to you, but you can export that information and put it onto another site. If you get the pro version, you're going to be able to then turn all of your settings into its own plugin. This is just awesome because say you're working on a client's website and um, you're going to be handing over that website forever and you're not going to be doing maintenance with them. Well, this way you can wrap all of those settings all up into one nice little bow and hand it over. It means the client can't change those things. That might be a really good thing um, and it's going to make it its own nice little plugin. And of course, it's going to be really cool. You can give it whatever wording you want it to be so that then I'll just show you here what it's going to look like over in the plugin section. So now I exported some of my settings and now it has made it its own little plugin. So then you could deactivate Divi Switch completely, remove it off your website, and then it would have Divi Space Extra Settings, kick ass new settings for your Divi website. I wrote that, I've got that, it's by me. It's got my website link in there. Very, very cool. And then the final thing to show you is the customizer. So this is gonna give you a few more settings that you're gonna be able to customize just some of the look and the feel of things. So if we come through here to the customizer to Divi Space settings and then into Divi Switch, you're gonna get a bunch of extra settings. So this is gonna allow you to change this icon to anything that you want to change it to. Obviously you wanna make it something that makes sense. I think a down arrow or something like that is gonna make the most sense. You can put an image behind there if you want to. You can edit those settings for those images. You can change this back to top icon. This is probably one of the most useful things. So now we've made it so that it's a really bright color. It's a little bit bigger than it was before. It's sitting in from the side. Um, if we just go back to the normal settings, this is what it was looking like before. And I think it's looking a lot fresher if we're making it much bigger and at least changing the color of it. So you've got all your settings there to be able to muck around with how that looks. And then you've got your archive settings. So on our archive page, if we just come here to our travel page, actually I'll show you here. If we come to our travel page here, you can see that what I've done is given it a background color for this heading and then change that text. So those settings are there in the customizer. So you can just change that background there. You can change the color of the text color. Um, you can change some of the padding and the margins and you can change things to do with the line that goes in between it. So if we come back here, just to quickly show you again, you can change some things to do with the spacing here and it's just going to make it a lot easier and it's going to make it look fabulous. So those are some of the settings and some of the things that you're going to be able to achieve by using the new Divi switch. I think I'm going to be using it on every single website that I build from now on and I highly recommend that you come check it out because I think it's going to make things a lot easier for people, whether or not you're someone who's new and doesn't know a lot of CSS or doesn't know any JavaScript or whether or not you're a developer who's wanting to then be able to export it as a plugin onto your client's website so they don't even know that you used a plugin like Divi Switch. You can be super sneaky and make your plugin look like your own custom plugin that is branded as your own product. Really exciting things coming out here with Divi Switch. I'd highly recommend you come check it out.